Anyway guys, this is a review for the Natural Moisture. That was a whole video that I did a while back. So I'm going to start with my favorites and then all the way to my least favorite. So if you would like to know these products in more depth and more detail about the ingredients, please check out the actual haul video. This is just a quick review of the products. My number one favorite would have to be the Natural Moisture um, Whipped Shea Butter. It is amazing for my hair. It really sinked into my hair quickly. The minute I started rubbing it into my hand, it melted quite nicely. The viscosity wasn't too heavy for me, so I really enjoyed that. That is definitely something I would repurchase. Next Next up will be a sample that she gave me. I think it's called a deep moisturizer. That was definitely another favorite of mine. Unfortunately, I didn't buy that. It was just like a teeny weeny sample. And oh, I did a wash and go night routine a while back, and I was using that in the in the in the night routine video. In fact, I was using natural moisture throughout that video. My third and definitely my favorite has to be the oil mixture of olive oil it just sinks in well the smell was great you know sometimes when things can smell too natural they actually stink is it just me or when it's just too natural it just has this um, rancidity to it and this wasn't the case also it was one of those oil mixes that was so easy to apply without feeling as though you are doing too much to your hair. I had no problems with it. I was kind of addicted to it for a while until I'm like, okay, so it's finished. Hmm. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. It was very, very nice for my hair. Very smooth, easy to sink into my strands. It added so much shine. Another favorite of mine will have to be my Rasool clay. I'm very used to the crushed Rasool clay and not the blocked. It'd be really good for desquamation. Very good for an exfoliant. Unfortunately, I didn't even bother trying it on my hair because it was around the same time where I didn't really have a body scrub. I needed something to treat my body with. So I created like a nice concoction mixing with the Rasool clay and it worked amazing for my skin. The African black soap in the liquid form. I used it on my hair and my body and it was amazing. The only thing I saw on my hair though, it's started to weigh down and it just felt dirtier and all the products were sitting on top of my hair instead of my cuticles being more open it was a bit more closed which it didn't really make sense because I'm using sulfate or at least a natural type of sulfate so that didn't make sense it just made me wash my hair more often I think after like the third time I tried to wash my hair with it I didn't bother doing that anymore I just used it for washing my body my least favorite would definitely have to be the coconut oil mixture and the bentonite clay. I don't know what it was about the bentonite clay, but there was just something weird about the texture um, whenever I would mix it with water. But it didn't feel like sand. You know, I'm used to the clay that feels like a bit of sand in it. Or you know that kaolin feel to, to the clays? I'm so used to that. And unfortunately, this, this bentonite was just so refined and it, it felt almost like I mixed it with oil and I didn't mix it with oil. Maybe it's a good thing, but I didn't really like it. When I applied it on my, my face, um, I had a little bit of a breakout. On the other hand, with the coconut oil, it's the same thing all the time with me and coconut oil. The minute coconut oil is the highest percentage in a product, my head just isn't at its best really. It feels crunchy, it feels as though it sealed my cuticles too much, nothing sinks in anymore. I mean I can apply so much olive oil and I can still put a whole lot of products on top of it and I can feel that it's going into my strands but unfortunately I can't do that with coconut oil. So with coconut oil it always has to be the least amount in a product then it works for me that didn't really turn out too good I tried it for a couple of nights and I was like mm -mm. coconut oil me and coconut oil just don't get along so I decided to stop I used it again in scrubs for my feet and I took a little bit of the, the, the coconut oil and mixed it into my cuticle oil and that was it I basically finished everything. I hope you enjoyed this um, review. I hope I didn't make it too long. So take care and we will definitely 
talk in my next video don't forget to follow me on facebook and instagram i'm always posting things there that i never do videos of which sucks but you know making videos sometimes can be time consuming so there are a whole lot of pictures you can check out that side and don't forget to check me out on the dance channel take care and i will definitely talk to you later bye